the palettes in MuseScore are what let you have access to all the different things in music besides notes. So your notes are all up here. Um, and then over here on the left side are your palettes. <clears throat> this word right here is palettes. Um, right now yours says basic here down at the bottom. You can switch it to advanced if you want to, and it gives you some more options, but you don't really need all of those. So basic is fine. Um, if you just kind of click on each one of these things it has, grace notes, not important to you guys. You don't need grace notes. Um, one of the first things we're going to deal with besides notes is slurs and how to insert slurs. Now, um, you can find slurs in the lines here. If I hover over it, it'll tell me what it is. That's a slur. But other kinds of lines in the lines palette are your crescendo, your decrescendo, um, endings, your first and second endings. This stuff down here is piano stuff. You don't really need it. So th that's your lines palette. Um, there's different kinds of bar lines. You can find those in here. Different time signatures, different key signatures. So you to open it, you click on it. To close it, you click it again. Your articulations. They just have a few in here. That's not even all of them. Accidentals. Dynamics. And again, there's more than this. Repeats and jumps. This is where your DC alphine, your coda, stuff like that. Tempo markings, text, breaks and spacers, and so. These are your palettes. These are how you access other things. And if you're looking to, um, well, first of all, if you accidentally click on this, your palettes disappear. There's nothing over here. There's no way for you to get to that stuff. You, if you do that by mistake, you're going to go up here to view palettes. You click that box and it shows back up again. So view palettes, that's where it is. 